Now, Gary, uh, you mentioned the uh, clifftop millionaire and what a happy coincidence this is for the <laughs> Prime Minister. It just so happens that the federal government's $100 million road upgrade to Avoca Drive will make his drive to his new $4.3 million beach pad <laughs> much more uh, comfortable, much quicker. And uh, on that purchase, the Financial Review reports that despite his colleagues, Labor ministers and MPs, defending him publicly, privately, they are very unhappy indeed about the optics of uh, this decision to purchase this property, the timing of it, the message it sends to the electorate, Gary. Yeah, absolutely. And isn't it convenient? You know, I reckon his new neighbours uh, in that uh, Copacabana area, I mean, seriously, you just want to go full on Barry Manilow when you hear that, don't you? But when I reckon his <laughs> neighbours will be delighted, right? The guy, I mean, normally when you move into a new area, maybe after a week or so, you invite the neighbours in for a cup of tea, somebody will bring a plate of scones. This bloke has bought a road. He's actually given them a road. They'll be very happy. And, of course, this will be the one section of the New South Wales coastline that won't have one of Chris Bowen's big windmills hanging off the coast because you don't want to interrupt those views. So oh, I think he's going to be a popular new addition to the Copacabana crew. Uh, they'll be pretty happy, but... You know, seriously, a plate of scones, maybe a barbecue, uh, maybe a couple of beers or something to welcome the new neighbours into your life or you you into their lives is, is enough. Uh, and I reckon the neighbours are going to have to bring some pretty high-quality orchids for the collection in the garden uh, just to make up for the kind of value he's already brought to the neighbourhood. But it's at taxpayer expense. And the fact that... He has the convenience of this new road, something he announced a few months ago, may well have given him a reason to look at this property, but at the same time, he's aware of all the niggling around negative gearing and all the things, so he's kind of clearing the decks. I think, Rita, in all seriousness, anybody else would have to resign. Anybody else would have to quit their job. This is one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen a Prime Minister do, and I really think he is going to have to quit over this and the pressure should be applied. His judgment is wrong. He's off on all fronts and the average Australian who wants a home of their own, I think is gasping. And if you're in a marginal Labor seat, I think you'd be probably looking for somewhere else to go and, and move to as well right now. Gary Hardgrave, thank you so much for your time this evening.